Thank you for subscribing to One Stop Ops Professional. This video is designed to welcome you to the service and walk you through the account creation process so that you can quickly access the One Stop Ops dashboard which you see on the screen in front of you. So the first thing you'll do is as soon as you've completed your account uh, payment information, <clears throat> you'll be routed instantly to a screen for you to establish your account. This is the, your account creation screen. This is the front door, if you will, to the One Stop Ops portal. And the first step you're going to do is look right down here is you're going to create an account if you don't already have one. If you already have an account, you'll come back here, you'll enter your email address password, and press login. So first let us instruct you on how to open an account. Pretty simple form. You'll put in your first name, your last name. Your cell phone number here is very important. Every time you log in, you're going to get a text on this cell phone number that allows you to log in. Then you'll put in your street address, postal zip code, organization information, title department. This says the, what sector are you from, government, industry, or other. Uh, are you operational, non-operational, regulatory research, so forth. Then you're going to pick a sponsor. This is another form of validation we will do to, to uh, protect the information and the people that are using this, this, uh, this portal. So you can select one of three, Tom Moran, that's me, John Shaner, or John Molnar, either one. Those people will get an email once you submit this to validate your entry. Then you'll enter your email address that you're going to use, your password uh, twice. And then lastly, you're going to click on this box here, I've read the agreement with the Terms of Use and Confidentiality Agreement, which you can read about here. Then you hit Submit. So once you click Submit, you'll be brought back to this screen. And then you don't do anything until your sponsor uh, approves you. That might take an hour up to 24 hours. If it's a weekend, it might take longer. But typically, they turn them around in, in a couple hours. So once you have that information back, then you're ready to log in. So you'll enter in your email, the password. You click Remember and click Log In. You don't go in directly. Now is where your cell phone gets a text. My cell phone just went off. And my, uh, my portal text is 4. So you want to enter your authorization code. So I'll enter my authorization code was 421563. And you click Verify. If you don't get it, hit Resend. Okay? But anyway, you hit Verify. Once you do that, you should log into the portal and you'll come to the main home, home page where you now can begin accessing some of the information and apps that are designed to be used um, within the uh, One Stop Ops service portal. 